Un... <laughs> Hell yeah! Incredibly successful. Like, there's a bunch of words crossed out uh-huh, about saying uh-huh, how good this uh-huh. is. Uh-huh. Um, Possibly good. About Maybe how to get into okay. Innsmouth regarding the martial law and the barricade and the checkpoints situation. Yep. What is it, if I may inquire, that you wish to do in Innsmouth? I may be able to help more if I know more details. Otherwise, I'm very excited to not only be going to this fascinating town, but to also be included on a team of people who may or may not call me friends. <laughs> um, I wish George was there so bad. We're your cousins. We have to be nice to you. Uh, what else tonight? I'm also, Shut I up, guess, George. I'm also going to briefly summarize that uh, from what I've looked up about internet, it sounds like there's a lot of shit haunted. There's a lot of like insular people, like they don't take too kindly to visitors. Right. And that a lot of stuff about the town since it's kind of spooky. Okay. And that's like cursed or haunted. Um. Something right there. So, in summary, I have a plan to get in. I want to know what's going on, why we're going there. Okay. To see maybe if I can help out more. And, uh, it's spooky. It's spooky. Uh. Yes, yes, and I'm down. Um, okay, uh, I respond to you. Uh, yes, I hope you know you're always welcome Aww. to our adventures. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I do consider you. Uh, and then he dies. An acquaintance. He's your cousin. I, I, yeah, so I do consider you an acquaintance. Uh, and oh, uh, and uh, I appreciate the information. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. But coffee's ready. Sorry Goodbye. For the background noise. Love, there, so. Alice. Hugs and kisses. Can I go for it, yeah, pretty much. Not sniping you. Yeah. All yes. right. So she didn't tell me shit about Hugs her. Hugs and No, she didn't. She was kind of worried right. about it still. Okay. Oh. I got two O's at once. No, it's fake. Okay. What's your O? I was, I was uh, to talk in my letters, I meant to, uh-huh. so, like, it's only one phrase, but, like, one word is just a Hyperborean symbol. Like, she didn't even, like, notice. She just, like, write it down. And then... Could it be, like, the sincerely at the end? Yeah. Right before your name? Yeah, yeah like, this something weird, that, This like, weird script missing, that you have no yeah. idea. It's like... Oh shit, I forgot. At the bottom of the letter, e pluribus unum. <laughs> this is random Latin phrase. I feel like that was like somewhere in like the auditorium of my elementary school. Like, I mean, like uh, at the front of the Latin not. It wasn't until, no, I mean, I mean, it it was until the 50s until it actually. I mean, oh, I mean, actually oh, oh, okay, okay. There was so, something yeah. like Latin that. What's that? Fire like beware. I don't know. It's a common Latin phrase oh, like. Oh, um, Something ergo est, maybe? Uh, it's like a bite of Latin, I'm I sure. Okay. Oh, 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 same here. She wants to scratch, like, symbols on her shovel. Yeah, she can do that. It's just an old, it's an old army shovel. It's in pretty good shape. Do you already have them scratched in your shovel? Or? Uh-huh. Yeah, but no, 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 no. She's borrowing the shovel uh-huh. from a, 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 an uncle or a cousin or somebody. Or oh, I thought friend you were going to have one. No, she borrowed one. She's got a little fold-up utility shovel thing. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that you guys wanted to do before you're supposed to get together? You guys have the hardest as far as like doing much because you're all the way in Dunwich. Um, anything else from, from Edward? Well, uh, uh, since you didn't give me much information. You bring your axe. Hmm. Oh, shit, um, it says else. on the sheet right here, clearly. That's too hard to get up. Fair to have an axe and not need a Since she didn't tell me much it. about what she wants to do in Innsmouth, I mean, I guess I don't really have much to go look up on. Caveat emptor. I will explain ah. it more when you get there. Okay. Well, that, yeah, that's what I was assuming. But, but I'm like, I want you yeah. to be here. You guys will get there on Friday. Saturday during the day is when the family get together is, and then people are going to go home on Sunday. It's pretty much oh, the plan. I know. If there's any milk in there, don't drink it. No, there's Kahlua, though. There is Kahlua. That would be good. That's coffee liqueur and coffee. You can decide your next one. And are you judging me? Is there a damage? There's a damage. 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 There's there's no Baileys. I, was, I thought there might be Baileys here. That would be great. There's no Baileys. You want your Baileys from a shoe? Yeah. yeah, there's some like liqueurs in there if you guys want little sweet treats. Help yourself. 
Actually, no, I think I'm going to not do that. Do the mint. No. Make yourself mint coffee. What were you saying there? Uh, well, I guess if, if she doesn't tell me much um, more information, I guess there's not much for me to research. So kinda, it feels like I've kind of reached most You've of the time. You've found a ton. Yeah, you have. There's um, not much written about Innsmouth. It's kind of weird. No, oh, it was Insulate. Shoot. Was um, you read that one book. Um, you lose. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this place? Uh, that's, I believe that's, oh, Thousand Ten. What's the number on it? Thousand Ten. Ten Ten. That might be Martin's Beach. Okay. 1,010 is Falcon Point. Yeah, which is, and Mar- Martin's Beach is doing that too. That's just a little, that's pretty much a little tourist place where they've got rentals, uh, rental houses and stuff like that for people who want to come to the beach. Okay. And there's nothing I can see, like, looking off of the big area, like, into the town or anything? No, no, you can't really get close enough to see clearly. Okay. Uh, you lose four points of sanity for that one buck. Oh, and right. you get, oh, no. okay. you get uh, 2% of Cthulhu Mythos for it, for Superstitions in the Sea. I'll take that trade. So there you go. Which book was that? Innsmouth, Superstition, and the Sea. Ah, the one where the guy drowned. Yeah. It's got some weird stuff in it about their beliefs. I think it talks more about, about does it talk about the, uh, let's see, daughters and sons... Um, yeah, obscure oh, Panape scriptures. I just read the. Um, uh, it talks about the the yeah. Just, they have some strange religious religious beliefs. Oh, you can make me a love check actually too. You're getting all the goodies because you're from Arkham. I'll do one for George too. Love check. Where's George? Is that a five? Hell yeah. yeah. You made it. Okay. Yeah. Um, George is not. Dude, wait, where are you? Did I? Not? Oh, there's love. <clears throat> George did. Oh, George made it too. Um, you find out that uh. Uh, Dr. Ezekiel Wallace, the pastor at the Aysbury uh, Methodist Episcopal Church in Arkham, uh, has in the past warned certain members of his congregation against joining any Innsmouth church. Uh, so you, you've heard rumors about that, too. Do not, do not join any Innsmouth church. He lives right there in town, too. I don't know. You can go talk to him if you want or not. It's up to you. Okay, hey, look. Do not no, join. It's a fish on an upside-down cross, and it's... Fish Jesus. Anti fish Jesus. Fish anti Jesus. Um, oh, yeah, so anyway, you hear that rumor. George found that out too. And he kind of, he approached you during these three months. And he approached you as well like, about that. He's like, Do you hear about that? Do you hear about that? There's this. That preacher? And then there's this. And then there's like. Okay. I'm bringing my baseball back. It's like that. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> he punches you in the shoulders. I, I kind of don't want to reveal how his voice has changed just yet. But <laughs> people say, like, I don't join many churches anyways. Okay. Okay. So George wanted to make sure you were in on that, too. So you get a letter from George that says, hey, I heard that uh, you're not supposed to join churches in Innsmouth. What's going on with okay. that? Hey, your cousin George. That's, 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 uh, that's uh, your cousin George. Who's I'll, here? I'd be like, um, I have no concern with that. I really don't have a concern with the churches. Do, do I know much about that? Uh, you know there was some place called the Esoteric Order of Dagon uh, downtown. I believe it's on your like your map. And you didn't like going around there. Uh, that was not a good place. Yes, it's, it's Dagon. Right, right, yeah, that area. So um, up there, that was the main church in town. A lot of the other churches are in ruins. Uh, and um, I don't think that would have been too big in my life. Um, it wasn't, but your mom was always like, "Don't go near that church." And she just kind of. Hmm. Okay, Your so mom didn't explain a lot about about it. So then I'm like, well, this this quest is for information. So you tell that to George, or will find. No, uh, he asked me about the church. He George did. George, yeah, you, tell, you wrote back George that it's about information, getting some information. <laughs> um, well, if he's asking me about it, I'm like, well, I don't know, but maybe we'll find out. Okay. Samples of Innsmouth superstition include rituals to reap better lobster harvests, spells to attract and control sharks, yes. and charms brought to invoke a watery doom on the unwary. And look, this guy who wrote this book had a watery doom. He did. <gasps> this is sounding more like Joe every second. George, just, uh, George just wrote back that he's uh, bringing his baseball back. Have you played? <laughs> huh? Do you need to Joe? Oh my god. No. You don't want to. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's good. Stop. It's don't bad, talk to me in partial sentences. What are you talking about? Uh, Junji Ito, the horror manga artist that I've told you about. You've shut me. Yeah, I've seen some of this stuff. That little scary like fish that I did that, that was from Gyo. 
The it only thing that's going to be red is very the fucking hole in the wall. Yes, it's sounding more and more. <laughs> yeah, well, it's probably influenced by that. You, I really like it as a marquee. Innsmouth was your home. The snail people. Yes. Innsmouth was your home. You were happy there. <laughs> Um, but there were some things about it you didn't quite understand, especially at your age. And Ben's over there grinning. They made a Sneeple joke. Oh. <laughs> Those are snake people. Snail people. people. There's, nothing, there's nothing to do with this. Sneeple or snake people. So oh, God. Snake. Don't, let's not start that shit again. Okay, so. Is there anything else you guys want to do in preparation for this? You found a lot of information out. You've worked, you're, you're planning on dealing with figuring out transportation. You've scouted out the place. You guys are living in ignorance happily for now. Yep. A little change. I'm sure. Melee boy, that's. <laughs> boy and digging girl. Carve, you've, carved, you've got your shovel. Um, Playing to bring your axe. Your parents are arranging for. Boy. So they're gonna. Your parents are all gonna drive up together. Um, Please ride a car. They're borrowing a. Uh, they're borrowing a pickup truck. So it's not gonna be a comfortable ride, but you guys will get there. Um, mm-hmm. Your parents have a car. Mm-hmm. So does George's parents. They're going to all drive separately. There's talk of, uh, your, your parents are talking they're probably going to stay in a hotel because uh, apparently Alice's mom has a small house, but you're going to be allowed to stay at the house with the cousins because mm-hmm. this is more about the kids than anything else. Mm-hmm. So, um, and you find out that's the same kind of th- deal with George. Um, Donald's actually going to ride up without his parents. He's going to come and uh, ride with George, and his folks can't make it this weekend. There's some kind of an art festival or art show or some kind of something that's going to happen. So, is that it? Are you guys that done? Goes, boy. You guys done with prep? No, Donald's coming. His parents just aren't there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, George is going to, he's going to ride with George's family. Oh. Um, is that good for prep for you guys? I think I'm good. Okay. okay. So, that would be, that would take us to Friday the, February 15th is when the families are going to arrive in Ipswich. Um, you guys go to your hotel, but then your parents drop off luggage, and then they're heading over to the house to meet the people. So the cousins are going to get together Friday night. Um, family has dinner at the house, um, and you basically can hang out with your cousins. Uh, and you guys are going to be spending the night there, too, uh, tonight and tomorrow night. So uh, your family, uh, I don't know, are you guys sleeping in the living room, your parents? They bring a tent, maybe? Is dad that kind of a guy? Um, they could probably have gotten enough money together to go to a hotel as well. If, I'm going to let that be up to your, you as players. Nope. Are they going to set up in the back of the pickup truck and sleep there? I mean, how poor do you consider your family? And This is a player decision, not a character decision, too. I'll say it depends. Will there be any other time of the year where we'd actually like go somewhere? It's February. It it's mid-February. It's pretty cold. See, I feel like... A lot of the rivers are still frozen. See, I feel like my dad probably wouldn't want to spend the money for, like, a hotel. Okay. So, yeah, they're probably set up in the back of the truck. Or so they got, like, a little tent yeah. kind of rig for the back of the truck. What about yeah. Gertie's family? Would they be willing to spend the money? This is a player decision, not, like, a character decision. Is your family going to spend some money and get a hotel room so that the parents at least can have some comfort? Are they going to try to, to – are they bringing a tent, some kind of a way to sleep outside? Are they going to camp in the living room? Because um, I'm assuming Alice has a pretty small house. It's probably two bedrooms, a kitchen, and a, a living room. That's if probably they don't good. like me sleeping outside, I wander off. Well, no, you're going to stay in the house uh, with the cousins. All your cousins are pretty much sleeping in Alice's room for the entire weekend. You guys have brought backpacks. or <laughs> you brought like, I dig a hole in the ground to sleep there. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, as a, as a player, would your family, would your parents want to go to a hotel? Would they want to sleep on the couch in the living room? Or would they bring a tent? Oh, Okay, so your your parents are going to camp out in the living room. Okay, and that works. And that actually works since yours are staying in the, the truck and the rich side of the family is actually staying in a hotel. Okay, so that Friday night, what do you guys want to do? After dinner, most of the parents have spent some time chatting and then headed off their own direction. What are the cousins doing? You're, you're all in Alice's room. It's small. It's, is Melba uh, there? Uh, sorry, no, no, no Melba's not there. Okay. Because Cousin Mel is, uh, she works. She's a telephone operator in Kingsport. But you guys can easily get in touch with her. So, so, so what are we doing this sneaking off? Uh, oh. Why is that? <laughs> oh, my God. George just rolls his eyes. I must not sharpen my axe for a second. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. What I happened? I need, like, one second. I, uh, my body changed. I can tell. 
<laughs> Don't feel bad about it. <laughs> what you doing, girl? I, I need like one second to verify. Um, it's gonna get my chart in my eyes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you do it real slow. Yes. You're just watching him while you do it. Yeah. Like you can't believe what's happening to him. Yes. <laughs> I can't. I don't want that to happen to me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm really sorry. Gotcha. Has it happened to you yet, Corey? Brittany uh, Donald's only twelve. Where am I? Nice this is in your bedroom. All the cousins are spending the night. They're like they they've got sleeping bags and stuff to sleep in your room. You've got your bed. It's big enough that everybody can fit. Maybe. Okay, can I get drinks, for everyone? Cozy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can get. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mom bought some like them. special stuff for this. So we've got Pepsi, Cola. Okay, yeah. Coca Cola and the refri- in the my ice box. Once my dad slept. <laughs> you guys have already had you had dinner and all the parents have left. Or okay. wait, you control it? <laughs> He's from the country. They go through it early. That's George. Oh, that's like age nine. <laughs> wow. I know a lot about these things. It's COM 14. <laughs> <laughs> Donald's over there talking with science. Hasn't started for you yet, have Okay, George. I'm handing out drinks. Like, Shut up, Gordy! Hand, hand out like Pepsi's. He pouts a little. <laughs> okay. Right. Pepsi we, Cola. Yeah. <laughs> so, are we digging before or after? We're digging? Uh, well, it. You promised there'd be digging. Yes, I did, but not at this point. Is it metaphorical so digging? It's... Uh, That's well, what Simon wants to know. Well, I assumed you meant, like, in the earth. Yes. And yes, then that. I mean, we're going to do both. Both is good. It's done. Right now, we're going to be doing more than metaphor. Metaphorical? You were right, I like Simon. all kinds. But first... Now that I have you here, I need to explain some things. I know I was intentionally vague with my letters, so there are a lot of things. There are a lot. Do you have your neck up? It's an axe. Oh, oh it's an axe. Okay. He's just, been, he's just been sharpening it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, can I hand you something better to sharpen it? <laughs> I got a whetstone. You got a whetstone. Like mine? Or? Chocolate mocha, by the way. Oh. Um, no, you no, want no, me no, like hella caffeinated during this situation? <laughs> Trust awesome. me, I gotta get wet stuff. So. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Well, there's a lot of things that you don't know about me. And that needs to be clear before we continue with this. Can You're I? from Innsmouth. Are you got the play? Uh, what? Well, I think I don't no. know a lot about most most people. Uh, uh, okay. Would you, uh, I don't have the place. Uh, Good. I don't want it. I, I appreciate... Deep voice will be I appreciate your, I have voice your digging going. with this information. I, I, I dig in books. I like, pat you on the shoulder a couple times and like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with your body. I barely know what's going on with my body. <laughs> Um, can I pass this around, or do I have to, like, because they don't know, like, my backstory. So go ahead and, and roleplay telling me. Well, the truth is, is, I want to find my Aunt Marty, and she's a very important person to me because of things that happened in the past that you don't know. When I was 11, I was in I was in a very bad situation where a man pulled me back into an alley and was touching me and trying to hurt me. But as you know, I'm, I'm very adept at my nice skills. And uh, he didn't, he wasn't, let's say he, he didn't have the capacity to touch me anymore. Damn! You, 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 you killed me? Do you blame me? Not really. Well, 
Good. F. George. He was pissed. Like I said, I was, I was 11. He and my Aunt Margie found me with my clothes torn, my clothes open, and a man bleeding out right beside me. She helped me dispose of his body and told me that I was a very good girl for doing what I did. Well, somebody pats you on the shoulder. It's Donnie. Uh, Simon says he's sorry. Oh, thank you, Simon. It's good to know you're still here. I look vaguely different. Um, so, anyway, my, my Aunt Margie, she got very sick. And my family said that she was going away to get better. But something about me, I, I, I just didn't think that was true. She... She wouldn't have left without saying goodbye. I know her. I... Um, so, Margie. Aunt Margie was a very important person in my life. And I need to find her. I need to find out where she is. And ever since the situation that, that happened in Halloween, I, I feel like we can do this. I feel like... We can take this upon ourselves and find out what happened to her. Because it's always been a mystery to me and it's always been eating me alive. I just need to know. Well, how do we find out? This well, is true. That's fine. Well, okay. Well, my. Yeah, for how it is. Yeah, especially. Well, my first idea was going to my cousin Melba. You know her? Yeah, everybody does. Oh, she oh, took wow. all of you guys to the Dreamlands. Okay, okay. And she was there at Christmas uh, two years ago. And she was there at Christmas last year, too, by the way. Yeah. This past Christmas. Uh, I was going to go to my cousin Melba first. I'm sure you, you all know her. She does my eyes. I love cousin Melba. <laughs> yeah, she's the best. Simon likes her, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, hi, Key Jones. Uh, yeah. But... I think she might have some information. Since she's she's connected to other worldly things. I think she might have some information on where my aunt could have, could have gone. We're going to the dreamlands again? I I'm thought we were sure. going to the dreamlands. That's a great idea. I'm not sure if it I was gonna suggest reversing the charges. She works at the, the at the, the switchboard in Kingsport. If it comes down to that, maybe. Uh, she lives in, yeah, she lives in Kingsport. She lives in Kingsport. She lives in Kingsport. Yep, that's down. That's where Donald lives. Yeah, you guys can get the map. Okay. But no, Dreamlands. If you guys decide you want to go into the Dreaming, you might be able to, boom, just talk to her face to face, to be quite honest, without having to worry about telephone calls or mail or anything like that. If she's there. Are we making a decision right now? Well, it, it doesn't have to be made. No, it doesn't have to be made right now. When okay. you guys go to sleep, whoever wants to go try to talk to Cousin Melba can just go. Thank you guys have hung right. out together in the Dreamlands before. Um, it's really easy to get there once you've been there. Um, How easy is it to find someone in the Dreamlands, though? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's not too hard. And besides, you can spend months in the Dreamlands and then you wake up the next day. Ah, so okay, it's right. not like time is a big issue okay, either. For yeah, that. I kinda and we're not gonna I'm not gonna be like, You start in this country, where do you wanna go? What do you yeah. wanna it's gonna be like it takes you a certain amount of time and you find cousin Melba or whatever. So yeah, I think I didn't even think of that. That's a great idea, Ashley. I'm giving you this just for having a good idea. Instead of a role playing thing, that's a great idea thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, I didn't think of that. That's okay. and you guys have all been there, you know how to get to it. Uh she lives in that castle yeah. in the sky. Castle in the sky. Mm -hmm. It's some. It's a land that's on that floats above the dreamlands. That's where her castle is. She has a white castle. Well, like I said, this this is pretty time sensitive since uh, we'll be moving as far away from here as possible. But Wait, you're moving? Yes. I didn't know that. Did you know that? Well, now you do. Oh, I guess that's I why you're all here, uh, so I can explain things to you. But 
Since it's time sensitive, I think that would be a good idea to try to do that maybe maybe tonight. So yeah, we'll just find out more information. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um yeah, George is one. He likes the Dreamlands, it's easy. I mean, you guys have had good times in the Dreamlands for the most part. Is that it for role playing that evening? You guys want to go to bed? Did you want to share your information or not at this yeah, point? Yeah, you want, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I'll tell everybody that I have a plan. Because I was going to, I'm sorry, I okay. was going to, like, say what I was going to say first, and then, like, you're yeah. free to... Wait, 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 wait. Before you start talking for an hour. When do you want to go to Innsmouth, then? Are we going, is this a rescue mission? That's what I was going to ask. Maybe. <laughs> he pats you on the back. For all I know, she... Georgia's She might. We'll, we'll just have to see. We, we just. George Patch, you know. We'll hope for the best. We'll bring her home. Yeah. He's, you know, he's been reading a lot of dime novels about fucking war, about World War One. Real, read real literature. The Latin classics. <laughs> George barely reads oh, comic books. One more. Can you read shit? <laughs> I want that to your reading voice is bad, but you're like speaking voices. Yeah, he reads a lot of comic books. <laughs> George does. Oh, jeez, Rick. You like prize of that, Mr. Simpson? <laughs> well, um, I. I may have a good plan of getting into Innsmouth. It's um, kind of on lockdown right now. But, uh, yeah, as, I, as I've heard of you. Yep, you're, uh, you, you, uh, you're kind of the captain on that one. What's your plan? Tell a plan and then she can decide. She's the captain. Cousin Melba will help us. Yeah, we need to get to her first and find out what to do, pretty much. I'm just going to keep there, talking so you can keep... There is a <laughs> river where, there, where there's no cars and we can just bike, bike on past it. Uh, what are you talking about? You have that. It's a physical map that you actually have to oh, keep that in mind. All the stuff I handed you is physical maps. This road map, you, guys, you have the copy of that road map. All right. Then you, uh, hold on, let me mark this up a little bit more. Because I've been thinking about this a lot. Okay. And you also have that POV map, the bird's eye view uh, map. That's a physical map that you have of Innsmouth. All right, so after a long deliberation, I've figured out plans A through G. <laughs> George rolls his eyes. <laughs> Where's F? F is hidden on there. It starts on the ink dark part. <laughs> now keep in mind you haven't been up one of those roads. What plans do you expect us to go through? G? Well, it's good to be prepared. Hopefully not more than G. Well, it's good to be prepared anyway. I have, I have a lot of free time. The best way is to attack them from the sea. From the, from the sea or the SCA? The sea. The s- <laughs> it's about you and your digging again. What are you talking about? Think she means from the Atlantic Ocean. Don't be expecting it from boats. Well, Gordon doesn't really do, want to be on the sea, does do, 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 do you have a boat? We have. No, there's boats down in Kingsport, but they're rowboats, and well, that's about 15 miles. That's gonna be hard work. What? No, you can't help. I know. <laughs> Simon says he's done a lot of boating, but how, how are wait. you going to do the tiller? How can you, get, what can you row a boat here? Where? Here. Like you're, you're Oh yeah, we're inland. Yeah, bro, we ain't even connected, you see. Just, you're he's on a thing. You're a spirit. Sometimes he gets on a thing about boats. I'm he like, you're a boats. spirit, how can you get on a boat? <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, okay. He's like, yeah, bro, you're right. Anyway, sorry. Idiot. <laughs> yeah. He's like a loaded clothes. So that was Charles' George is just like, George is pulling Got out his com- one of his comic books and flipping through it. 
Anyway, anyway. Keep going. Sorry, guys. I feel like you were into screeching. <laughs>